thing is our daughter figured out how to put her feet up on these railings on her crib and then once she does that she's able to get her foot over the top of the railing and then she'll climb out of her crib uh, so we want to make sure she doesn't fall out or get hurt and uh, hopefully keep her in here just a little bit longer so we can all have a good night's sleep so what we're gonna do is install the plexiglass on the inside and make it so that she can no longer use this to get leverage to get her foot over that railing. A 0 0.93 inch uh, thickness plexiglass and I've pre-drilled the holes. You can look at the end of the video to, to see how to do that. Right now I'm just going to take off that protective film. So we have our nice clear plexiglass so that way she can see through it and uh, hopefully won't get afraid in the middle of the night. So make sure you got everything off before you screw this in because once it gets screwed in you're not going to be moving it. We're on the inside of the crib now. What we're going to do is we're making sure that we can cover all of these so she can't get her feet in here and then climb out. Now, I don't want her to be able to grab the top of this and get leverage or, or cut herself or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this slid all the way up so she can't get her fingers underneath there. And then we're going to start screwing uh, these in. So these are self-tapping screws. So let's just make sure I have it exactly where I want before I screw into this. Overlap on each side. I think we're good to go. That's in place. And I want you to note I'm only drilling into the part that is going to be removed later on uh, once we have a toddler rail. So that way we can still use this. You won't have any issues later on. So I'm just using these modified truss screws. The reason for that is they have a very large head, so they'll be able to hold this in place and uh, won't be able to pull it out as easy. The other thing that's nice are these are self-drilling so I don't have to pre-drill the holes. You don't want to over-tighten these because uh, Plexiglass, you can break it, so don't go too hard on it. I might just want to tape down the sides. Everything's nice and smooth. I, I put uh, a little bit of packing tape over top of everything. Now you can't get your feet into the railings here, so that will give us a little bit more time before we have to switch her to a toddler rail, uh, which will make sure she's not roaming around her room grabbing at wires and other things, so it gives us a little bit more time to uh, think out how we want to baby-proof the rest of the room. So. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that gives you guys a little bit more peace of mind and keeps your kids safe for a few more months and uh, get some sleep. 
All right. Well, it takes a lot of work to, to show you these videos, so if you can, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Just make sure you like it, and I'll see you later. If you have any suggestions for any future videos or any questions that you have, just put them in the comments section, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thanks. Have a great day. What I'm going to need to do first is just get a measurement of where I want these holes to be. Realizing that uh, this stuff does shatter, it does break, you don't want to drill right along the edge of it. So we're going to drill about one inch away from the edge. So I'm going to put about five of these modified truss screws in along the bottom and the top uh, just to make sure that nothing's going to move and it's nice and sturdy. So this is 48 inches by 24 inches. So I'm just going to mark this down. So I'm going to start with about an inch from each side, and then center, and then halfway between each of those. So it comes out to be 1 inch, 12 and a half inches, 24 inches, 35 and a half inches, and then 47 inches is where I'm going to make the marks. So I'm going to oversize this drill bit just a little bit because I don't want these threads uh, really doing anything for the plexiglass when they go in. The reason for that is if the threads touch this plexiglass, since it's thin, it might shatter the plexiglass. So after I drill all of these and then screw it in, I might still break it. So I'm going to oversize the, uh, the drill bit to cover those threads, uh, which normally you would only cover the... Uh, the shaft of the screw and then not the threads and that would be for you to actually have the threads make contact but in this case I don't want the threads to make contact with the plexiglass uh, basically it's just this larger head that's going to hold it in place make sure that this bit is sharp before you start drilling uh, otherwise you might shatter everything want to go slow and make sure that each drill point is supported. If it's not supported, it'll just break and uh, the back end will generally crack out. So, try to go straight as possible. Once you start to see a little wood come up out of that, you know, the that cut's done. Now, note that we're not going on the same spot every time. We just want to make sure that it's well supported and it's not vibrating all over the place. If I had a drill press, this would be nice. So as I'm going a little fast, I can tell that the plastic's melting. <laughs> 